So after Christian keys had went to his Instagram and made a post, they got a lot of people talking, not his post was what got people talking, but let's read exactly what he said on Instagram. He says black women are definitely superheroes. Nothing wrong with that. That's positive. Anyone in their right mind would take no issue with that statement coming from a brother, right? There's a lot of women online sometimes, not, uh, not all, not all women online, but there's some women say, Oh, black men don't celebrate us. Black men don't speak good for us. Black men don't do this. And I disagree with that hundred percent. Yes. You have people doing things that I would say is very negative, but the majority of brothers, they don't act that way. They don't. So they have a user by the name of underscore B underscore Laura, all women. Okay. Now we have seen many times before, every time a black man says something positive about black women, it's always women of other groups. Usually the Mzungu women for the most part do that. They show up or oh, what about all women? Well, all women are this and all women are that. Well, why is always this all you get what I'm saying? So the brother responded and said, I said what I said. It's a shame that we can't even celebrate black women without others popping up talking about what about us? Just because somebody says something positive about black women, it doesn't mean they don't have think the same about other women. It just means that here in this moment right now, I would like to say something positive and amazing about black women. If that offends you, then you are a part of the problem. God bless. But he's right. How many times have we seen brothers say, I love white women. I like white women or whatever they say about white women. They say they like Asians. They've said they like Latinas. They said all kind of women. They like all women is the brother is actually right. Okay. But anytime that a black man says something positive about black women, it becomes a problem. Now, if this same brother was calling black women, bulldogs, calling black women, difficult, call black women, just whatever name they want to call them. Right. That same woman wouldn't show up and say, Hey, don't talk about black women that way. All women are, are great. All women look nice. All women. It, it, no, he don't, you'll get no all until you say something positive about black women. And I've seen this just even in the workforce that anytime a black woman is celebrated, anytime a black man is attracted to the women in his own group. I mean, that's natural to be attracted to the women in your own group. I mean, that's the women you're going to grow up around or be around more than any other group of people. Right. But it's as always I've seen is that there's that colonizer mentality in definitely some of the white women for sure that they want to colonize black men's thoughts, want to objectify us, want to say whatever they want to say. They won't have access to black men. Like they're still on a plantation. And how dare they say, Hey, I black women are definitely superheroes. You don't know what kind of day he had. You don't know if a black woman done something great for him that day saw something for him. Like, man, man, that's just some really superhero moves. She pulled and he just went to Instagram and just kind of expressing that we're not putting the person out there on front street, whoever that person may be. It's been times that sisters have really done things great for us, you know, here within our business. Um, for me personally, sometimes you don't want to put people's name out there because they don't want their name out there, but he just wanted to make a general comment or, or maybe he's just seeing that, you know, the, the women he's around, we don't know who they are that are black women. He has to just give them props like that, but it's not an issue. Why is it Becky that you always trying to come up in the space where black men are saying something positive about black women? Why? What is it? Listen, you have your own men. You have white men. That is the men of your group. Go over there with them. You have every right to tell white men, whatever. But when it comes to this and when it comes to black men, the only women, in my opinion, that has a right to be saying certain things to black women, just my opinion on that. We don't come to your spaces. You don't see a bunch of black women showing up to a place where a white man is saying how much they love a white woman or how a white woman is only good for them or whatever they want to say about white women. I don't see a bunch of black women showing up and saying all women or well, black women too, or whatever. I don't see that because really for the, the most part, black women don't even go over there like that. They really don't. If you, definitely if you do the research, they don't. 
So why is it that you always come in over here where brothers are at mentioning how they feel about the women in their community? Let me tell you something, just like the Angie stone made the song brother, that was very positive. Well, sometimes you may make a post to appreciate the sisters because sometimes they want to hear that too. I mean, we both need encouragement, especially living in this system. So if he want to leave an encouraging word for the women of the community, what is wrong with that? It seems like you got to be included in everything that we got going on. And it's not just Becky because Gina Rodriguez was another one, you know, making comments. Every time someone makes a comment about black women, black people, it's always no, well, not us too, us too. No, none of this us too. No. Sometimes the conversation is the black community. And there's nothing wrong with that because every group, when it's time to talk about them, they don't want to hear nothing about us at all. When they have their little groups, when they speak their languages, when they do everything else, they exclude us. But anytime we, for five minutes, try to prioritize what we have in our community or just kind of circle our wagons around each other, then it's supposed to be like, Oh, what about us? Well, you shutting us out, support black businesses. Hey, that's not right to support black business. That's kind of racist. Don't you think saying things like that? You know what I'm saying? We have to, as, as black people say, listen, if I want to celebrate the sisters, I'm going to do that. You don't like it. F you. Okay. My page, my opinion is how I feel. If a sister say that about a brother, she could say the exact same thing. Don't feel bad about celebrating each other. Because if we don't have each other, who else do we have? And once again, brothers have said comments about women of all races anyway. And no one condemns them when that happens. Let's call it what it is. But anytime a brother says something positive about sisters, now here you come talking about what about us? What about us? No, you're not included in our overall family. You're not. Even if you're married to a few of us, you still not really included in the collective like that to be butting your nose into that conversation. And I don't know why y'all do that. And that's probably why you deleted your Instagram page. I went and looked for it and it was nowhere to be found, but brothers more and more are starting to speak up about not even liking y'all coming into our conversations like that. And that's good because we don't go in y'all conversations. We don't interject ourselves in anything that y'all have going on within your group. And we would like the same respect. But let me know what you think about, you know, this woman on Instagram, just pulling that all women deal. But once again, if they say something negative about black women, notice it's nothing, everything's cool. But the moment that something is said positive about the sisters, all of a sudden now it's a problem. All women need to be included. No, no one could ever say something good and, and say, Hey, black women, you're doing a good job. I think you, you, you're pushing the right message. You, you can't do anything. You, you can't because people get their feelings hurt. Well, this is how I feel about that. Keep getting your feelings hurt. Stay out of business. Go find you something to do.